Oh wait, where the fuck did it go? Oh, we are already starting. Look at that. I didn't even know. I pushed a button and I thought I did and then it didn't go and then it did. So hello everybody and welcome to this video. Um, today we are going to be doing um, some writing tips or writing advice and stuff like that. And um, this is a... <clears throat> Actually, the question's quite long, um, but I got this from Hoppy Pumpkin Dance, um, thank you, and I, you know what, I'm not going to read the whole question, um, but the, the question basically is, how do you deal with um, bad reviews of your work, negative reviews? Um, trolls, people getting mad at what you're saying, people taking offense to what you're saying, um, or what you're writing, stuff like that. Now, I am probably the best person on the face of the planet to ask this because I have had the wonderful ability to be able to get horrible, horrible reviews for my books, for my music, for my films, for my live performances. Um, I've pretty much done it all and have gotten good reviews and bad reviews. So um, <clears throat> it really doesn't matter what kind of art you do, whether you are writing books, whether you are doing this stuff, whether you're making films, whether you're a stand-up comedian, um, you're in a band, whatever. It doesn't matter because it's all the same stuff and it all comes from the same place. Now, um, the short answer to how to deal with this is that you just deal with it or you don't. Um, the best advice I've ever gotten from anybody is to not read reviews. Because if you read reviews, then, um, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. And if you do, you get all upset and um, you can't stop thinking about it. And I, I don't know who said this, but I didn't hear it from Madonna. Um, because, you know, me and Madonna haven't spoken in years. But... Um, I heard this from somebody else that Madonna said this. She said, um, if I'm playing in a big arena and, um, you know, there'll be like, I don't know, 10,000 people, probably more. They're cheering for me and being all excited. Um, that doesn't mean anything to me as much as that one person in the back row who hates my performance. Like, I'll always remember that that one person hated it, whereas all these other people were totally, like, loving what I was doing. Um, and as a artist, as a creator, that is probably true for everybody. Like, no matter how many people tell you you're amazing, you'll be like, oh, oh God, that's kind of nice, I guess. But then if one person's like, oh, you suck your shit. And you're like, oh, my God. And you start crying and the whole fucking thing. So um, <clears throat> knowing that that's how we are, there are things you could do to help make that not be such a big thing. So like not reading your reviews. So what a lot of people I know do is have somebody they trust, like a friend or a loved one. Um, read reviews as they come in and if there are good ones they clip them and send them to you so you know like oh that's good I'm getting all these good reviews and then if you are um, I don't know if you have a bit of a thick skin like your person who does this for you can um, even give you some of the ones that are um negative reviews because honestly <clears throat> and you should never do this don't ever base what you're doing around what 
um, a bad review said. So, for instance, if, like, you got all these good reviews and then this one bad review said, um, like, I think they should talk more about animals in their work. Don't go, oh, shit, now I got to talk about animals in my work. That's not, that's just this one person's opinion. And opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them. Some of them have two or three. Okay. Um, so, like. You have to be able to separate what an actual critical review of your work is and what is just some stupid fuck who has nothing better to do than to, like, I'm going to give my opinion because blah, 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 people want to know what I have to think. Like, nobody gives a shit, bro. Like, just shut the fuck up. But if every once in a while you'll get comments or reviews that are like, um, like... <clears throat> oh my god, this book's so good, but on page 47, they forgot to end quote during a dialogue or something like that. That's like fucking like valuable information. You're like, oh shit, and then you like go fix it. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think of what of other some things like that would be like. Um, but yeah, like constructive criticism's good. Um, and there are people who write reviews. And I think <clears throat> I think one of the things that's difficult is that over the last like 10 years or so, um, people think that if they could leave a comment on Amazon that they are now a reviewer or something. So like they don't like work anywhere they don't even like necessarily have like a blog where they post reviews they just are like oh well you know i'm gonna spend the next like four hours of my life typing out this amazing review of what i think about this and that's like as a creator the fact that someone wants to do that is actually kind of cool so when i even get like a big long crazy review like that I go, oh my gosh, my work inspired this dumb fuck to sit in front of his computer all fucking day and fucking make sure his grammar and punctuation was correct, which it never is, and fucking lay into me and all this shit. So there's a part of me that's like, kind of like, oh, that's interesting. I did that. I did that. I made him do that. And so I get kind of like all giddy about that. Um... But, like, when you talk about trolls, because that was another one of the questions that came up, that is not as prevalent as people think. Um, as much as the world being a fucking steaming pile of shit, like, people, for the most part, aren't that bad. You will get... Um, a person every now and then who would say something but um like even me who has made more crap work than probably anybody on the planet shit poems it's up now on my etsy store link down below <clears throat> um i haven't even got um that kind of shit and like there are people i know who have gotten shit like that but i honestly think and if you're watching this and you think i'm talking about you i'm probably not so don't get all upset but um there are some writers i know and some um filmmakers that i know who feel like people came after them like reviewers came after them and um, had some spite in it. And that's usually because they brought it upon themselves. They talk shit when they shouldn't have talked shit. And um, if you don't know, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. If you know what I'm talking about, then yeah, this is probably for you. But just like, if you don't, it's like the golden rule or whatever. If you don't want people to talk shit on you, and your shit, don't talk shit on people. <clears throat> it's really easy. Um, but yeah, so in the review world, 
th that does happen in Amazon world where just any schlub could leave a review saying any horrible thing they want. Um, a lot of times, you know how when you're on Amazon, it'll say, is this review useful or something like that? Um, and people could upvote or downvote. A lot of times people can see if somebody's just being a dick and those things will get downvoted and pretty soon you won't even know they're there. Um, but if you are worried about reviews and how that's going to affect you like emotionally, have somebody close to you weed out the wheat from the chaff kind of thing. Um, but still, if somebody has good constructive criticism in a review, take that. Um, like, if they're like, oh, um, you know, this is a really great book, but the poems are too short for my liking, or the poems are too long for my liking. Like, that's, you know, like, if you get a bunch of people saying that, then yeah, that's maybe a thing. But if you just get one person saying that, that's just an opinion. Um, but, you know, I don't even understand what I'm, where I'm getting at now. But the, the basic point is, is that all you are supposed to do is create. And just create. Create from your heart. Create what you want to make. And do that. And don't give a shit about what people say. Because people will always say, like you could do this better, you could do that better. So you have to just be true to you in order to do that. So yes, you will probably get a small amount of negative criticism, but I don't think trolls or anything like that are going to come after you unless you actively seek it. Um, but other than that, I hope this was a helpful answer. Um, if you have a question about um, writing or publishing or anything like that, um, leave it in the comments down below and I'll do another video like this and we could talk more about stuff like this. And, um, there is actually one more video like this I have to do. I'll probably do it tomorrow and, um, put that up. So yeah. So until next time, everybody take it easy.